So my beautiful people, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video and today guys, I basically explain to you as a brand new player to this game, how you can get that top tier loot in literally minutes. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Dying Light, be sure to subscribe and turn those notifications on so you never miss a video. Okay, so about three or four days back, I posted an incredible end game farm for top leveled gear. Basically, 17 chests or containers in a small area which you can farm over and over again. These are located at the very bottom of Central Loop and well, anyone who has access to this can farm these straight away earning the best loot in the game i mean this guy's drops the highest leveled loot i've seen so far almost 200 hours in it's basically an end game farm for when you complete the game to get and and get that best gear in the game it's as simple as that but my beautiful people there's also a way in which new players to this game can farm this too and it's relatively straightforward now they don't even have to have central loop unlocked I mean, as soon as I've got into Old Villa Door, you can do it from here. And how this works is, all you gotta do is join a friend who's already got Central Loop opened up. Once you're in their game, guys, and they're in that Central Loop area and you've joined them, you'll be able to go down and farm this incredible endgame item farm. So the best weapons in the game, the best armor in the game will all come from these chests now there are 12 sunken airdrops here and there's also five inhibitor containers they don't showcase to you on the map where they are unless you get real close to them and you can hear that ping but on screen now you can see a map of where exactly these are now this is quite a popular farm i did post it first on youtube and i know a lot of bigger youtubers picked up on this and rightly so it's an amazing spot but no one's covered the fact that you can actually go here as a brand new player you join a friend who already has central loop open so again guys if you have a friend who's already opened up central loop you can go down to this farming spot now i will warn you if your friend has completed the game there's two scenarios uh, where this can either be covered in water which in my opinion is the easy method or if the water has been drained then you will have to fight your way through zombies to pick up these containers me personally, I completed the game and mine is covered in water, so I had to swim down to these crates, these chests, but still, it's super, super easy. All you'll need is a few lockpicks to get these opened. Once they're open for that first time, you don't have to open them again. And because the loot in these is on like a 20 minute uh, timer and it respawns in, by the time you've done one full lap of all these containers, you can start again from the very beginning, rinsing and repeating the process and earning that best loot in the game, guys. It really is that simple. So again, if you have a pal that's opened up Central Loop, join their lobby. And all you need to do is come down to this side of the map, avoid the newfound lost lands because it's full of that poison. You don't want to go down there. You want to come down the left-hand side of the map and you'll come to a safe house, a night runner's hideout. This you do want to uh, obviously activate just in case you do die. You'll spawn right here. And from here, guys, this is where your farm can start. It is as simple as that, people. And I do hope it helps you out. On screen now, I'll show you the locations of every single one of these chests from a previous video, from the one I originally posted. So you can see exactly where these uh, containers are. But like I said, this whole area was underwater for me. If your friend has completed the game, there's a good chance that this area may have been drained of water. Although the chests will be in the same spots, there's going to be zombies you will have to fight your way through. So keep that in mind, guys. But yes, this is how a new player to the game can get the best loot in the game relatively straight away. And don't worry about your level, guys. I've had it confirmed by many people who have tried this. If you're a level 2 or 3, you can still get the best high level gear, like level 8, 9 from these containers so yes it's definitely worth your time checking out and doing but on that note the end of the video has arrived i'll leave you now to watch the locations of these containers if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and hopefully people i will see you on that next one